Hello, everybody, and welcome to Unleash the Color of Transfers. I'm Josh Ellsworth with Stalls and Stalls Transfer Express, and I'm so excited to kick off this day together where we have a ton of educational content just jam-packed over the course of one day. Uh, perhaps you've seen our educational sessions before, whether that be on YouTube or the webinars we do every month um, over on the Stalls and Stalls Transfer Express websites, or maybe you were at our event earlier this year where we did our first ever Heat Press for Profit virtual event. Well, we were super encouraged by that event. We had record attendance numbers and we had uh, aspiring uh, apparel decorators and existing apparel decorators tell us how much they love that event and wanting more, more, more. And so we decided to go all in on these virtual events, uh, whether we're in a pandemic or not, we're going to be bringing you virtual content into the future in this sort of format. We're so excited to be on this pathable platform, which gives us a ton of functionality to interact with you. So as we're going throughout today, here's a couple of things I want you to know. One is all of the sessions that you're attending uh, that you can get to and access through the agenda, well, they're presented live, which means we're able to see your questions as you're chatting them in. So make sure you give your presenter plenty of encouragement, tell them where you're watching from, who you are. If you see something you like or you agree with, uh, join in, interact, but also make sure you ask your questions. I know as a presenter, that's what really helps me keep the content engaging and make sure that I have the pulse of you um, as an apparel decorator throughout the session to make sure we're giving you content that's valuable to your business and being able to shift and adapt and, and tailor it specifically for you. So make sure you ask questions. Now, the other thing that I just really love about this is um, in the top of your screen, the top right, there is the ability to network with us. And you can do that in one of two ways. One is you can enter a conversation thread sort of outside of any individual session, and you can ask questions specific to your business or share tips or advice in a forum style. Um, we have many of our full color experts that are watching that forum as well as helping to moderate these sessions. And so feel free to have a conversation about your specific business needs if you think someone else can benefit from it. Now. If you have some questions you just want to ask one on one, well, I love that you can schedule one on one sessions with us as presenters with our full color experts, or actually with anybody within the platform. So if you make that connection in the chat, you want to meet with somebody one on one, or you want to talk more to a presenter about your specific business needs in that setting, you can set up a meeting one-on-one -on, -one on our calendars, and we're going to be keeping those meetings open, not only today, but also tomorrow and Friday. Friday. So feel free to schedule into those sessions. We want to connect with you. That's what this is all about, is helping you to grow your apparel decorating business by unleashing the color of transfers. So you excited? I know I'm excited. I'm presenting from my spare bedroom in Uniontown, Pennsylvania. And that's one of the coolest things about this event is we have all of our speakers coming to you from different little corners of the world, spare bedrooms and garages and all of these settings out of our home because we've all been pushed into our homes over the past year. But what I've seen is I've seen the resilience of apparel decorators and the resilience of our industry and our team members. Because when I look at the sales numbers, folks, we are setting records in the category of transfers. Just last month, we set a record for most transfers produced. How cool is that? We're setting single sales day records every day. Now, that's a testament to your resilience as an apparel decorator. We're seeing more businesses get started, and we're seeing more existing businesses excel and succeed online in this world that we're in. There is plenty of opportunities to decorate apparel with a transfer, and today we're going to go all through that for you. Now, one thing I want to talk to you about this class is about simplifying your sales approach and being able to just say yes. I mean, sit back and imagine that for a second. Whether you're an existing apparel decorator or you're just looking to get started, if a customer came up to you and said, I'd like to get this done, or perhaps they call you or email you or chat you or message you through Instagram or Facebook and they say, hey, can you do this? And they furnish you a picture of a result that they want to have created uh, with their style, with their design. Imagine if you didn't have to ask a million questions and you could simply say yes. Well, that's the power of the product we're going to talk about today, which is Ultra Color. We're going to show you not just a product, but we're going to show you how to take a product as versatile as Ultra Color and be able to take what's great about that, drive it into a business offer. So when you are approached by a potential customer, 
or when you want to market and sell a concept online, perhaps even at e-commerce retail, you can just say, yes, I can do that. I can have the confidence to fulfill with this product. And that's really the goal of this session. We want you to be able to simplify that sales approach. Uh, let's take the complexity out of it for our customers because customers are really crippled by choice. They become paralyzed and they can't choose an option. Now, if you've been selling in any industry, you've probably heard about the concept of good, better, best. Now, I'm going to be sharing a lot of nuggets with you throughout this session and throughout your sessions through the day. So I just want to kind of draw back a little bit and say, if you don't have a notebook or somewhere to keep notes, you should get one because you, I recommend that you keep tons of notes so you can actually move some of the concepts into action. So one thing that you can write down first in your notebook is complexity loses customers. When we are presenting to customers, we want to keep it simple. Once you have it simple, then I want you to simplify it further. The easier that we can make it for a customer to understand our offer right away at a glance, the more likely that customer is to buy and not only buy, but buy quicker. And that can mean big things for your business. If you're able to simplify your sales approach to be able to say yes to the job, to be able to present a product quickly and a price quickly, then that customer can simply agree to move forward and they can do it on a very short time frame. I manage a group of salespeople and we look at something called a sales pipeline. Okay, this sales pipeline is really the journey that the buyer is on. And your potential customers are on a journey as well. They're on a journey to purchase branded products, whether that's for a team, whether that's for an apparel line, whether that's for a small business, ultimately people want their brand to stand out. They want to see their brand represented well, and they want to make a statement with the products that they're wearing in decorated apparel. So if we can allow them to make that statement quickly, easily, and say, here is the right choice, then they can move forward. Now we can start to get a little bit creative with that good, better, best presentation by putting the perfect offer for them in that better category and also putting some options into our offering at the top level at the best category that drives the profit up for our business. So this may look like this. If a customer comes to you and they say, I want a decorated t-shirt. Well, we will figure out their budget and we will put a decorated t-shirt that meets the budget right at the center of our offer in the better category, in the good, better, best category. Now, in the best category, we may show them a super soft tri-blender, a performance tee like I'm wearing here, knowing that we can decorate it with the same finish and the same product. And just to prevent that price pressure of that customer coming back, now I know you asked the budget, but to prevent the price pressure of that customer coming back and asking for a discount, we're going to put an economy option in the good category that allows us to be able to give a customer a savings, but still make sure that the profit works for our business and our price grid. So keep it simple, guys. Present three options. You can decorate the three options with the transfers we're going to talk about today. You can make them on demand and you can present something that's really simple to customers across a wide assortment of products. Now let's talk about assortment. Let's talk about what we need to look for in a product offering to be able to just say yes and do some of the things that I'm talking about confidently, because that's really what we want to create here. We want to create capable, confident apparel decorators, that's you, that's in control of your business and your goals. I really don't want you to have to worry about all the different ways to make a shirt. That should be the easy part. We should be able to find a way to decorate apparel that's going to work across a wide variety of products like you're seeing here. The first point that I want to point out is versatility. Now, when we're looking for a transfer product, we want a product that's versatile. That means a product that can not only decorate the t-shirts we spoke of, but that can accommodate the performance apparel and the tri-blend, sort of the higher end. We want that same product to be able to decorate perhaps a backpack or a jacket or a hat. Versatility is very important in an apparel decorator's business. Now, I love the concept of being able to print directly onto a t-shirt with a direct to garment printer in full color. It's phenomenal. But the reality is for most small businesses, you need to sell more than just t-shirts. The transfer product that we're gonna talk about today with the heat press system that we're gonna show you is going to allow you to increase your product assortment. Now, when I look at a business, I like to look at a top goal, uh, a singular goal. And for most, that goal is top line sales coupled with profit, of course. 
that should be the goal in your business, unless you're a, a nonprofit, right? Well, if you're a nonprofit, you're still trying to make money for something usually, but the goal usually is top line sales and profit. That's our singular goal. Now, along the way to that goal, businesses should establish something called KPIs. That stands for Key Performance Indicators, okay? KPIs, Key Performance Indicators. These are all of the things that we measure that bubble up and that ultimately help us to achieve that number one goal. So when we look at a transfer product and we look at the versatility that provides, that versatility is really going to play in some KPIs that I'm going to recommend that you write down and look at for your business. Now, one of the key performance indicators that I like is total customer value. That is how much is each customer that you line up worth over the course of a given period of time, total customer value. I recommend looking at that for a year. But if you're just starting, you may look at that for a month or a week. A week may be a little too short, a month or a quarter. But I like to look at those numbers because if we can create higher value customers when we acquire them, because there is a cost to go out and win and acquire a customer, the cost of sales and marketing, if we can create higher value customers from niches that we want to target in, in different segments of the market, well, that's going to bubble up and that's going to create higher total revenue if I can find more customers like that. And also more profit, of course, if I can make sure how I'm decorating for those customers is profitable. Make sense? Good. So if you're still with me, there's another KPI that I like to measure in addition to total value of the customer. That next KPI that I like to measure is average value order. How much is each shopping cart worth if you're selling online or how much is each sales order worth when you're presenting products? You see, if you start to measure that average order value, it's really going to dial you in and help you focus on doing what? Increasing it. Yes, increasing your average order value. One way to increase that average order value is through this concept that we're talking about, through versatility. If I can, in an order, a customer is probably not going to buy three different t-shirts for their brand, but they very well may buy a t-shirt, a polo, in a bag. You see what I'm saying here? If I can start to look at my average order value as a KPI, I can start to think of intelligent ways to bundle product to be able to increase the size of each order that I'm generating. Yes, higher average order values equals higher value customers equals higher value sales and profit. You see, there's one more KPI that I want you to write down here. So far, if you're keeping a list, your KPI should be average customer value over the course of a given period of time, one year. It should be average order value, which can be broken down on a per order size and segmented out by customer group if you're targeting different segments. And then the last thing that I like is average item value. Okay, That means every single item that you're producing in your business, if I sold 100 items across 30 orders, uh, I can get the average order value, but how much is each item worth? By focusing down at the item value level, it'll help you make more intelligent decisions on what to spend your time on. And yes, the average item value flows through all of those numbers that we've previously talked about. What the average item value allows you to do is it allows you to focus on higher end because we have a fixed amount of time in our business. I know a lot of you are just starting and it's only you and your business, or maybe it's a small business, 10 employees or less. By focusing on what we're producing with our time, we're able to focus on some higher end items. That will kind of flip where you spend your time and energy in sales and marketing and the clients that you want to acquire, but it starts with being able to produce those items to generate that maximum value. Okay, so versatility is real big. Those are some tips around KPIs. And of course, something else that we want to look for in our offer with the products that we're creating is we need something that delivers a high quality. Because what good are high-end items, our customers, our sales, if we can't produce a quality result? And so we're going to be talking about a product uh, today that can produce a high-quality result. Actually, a product today that has being, been being used for over a year for some of the highest quality sportswear brands that are out there in the market. Yes, this product is fine for fashion. It's fine for sports. It, you can use it for any market because you can trust the result that you're going to achieve. Now, there is one big thing I have to mention here. If you don't have a quality heat press, prioritize that on your list. There's some space in the margin of your paper, right? Get a good quality heat press as your first goal. 
everything fails if the heat press doesn't work properly. Those customers that you're printing for, it can create bad word of mouth advertising. That's a real thing if the prints that you create for them fall off when they're laundered. Those are the horror stories that we hate to hear. And usually when we hear those stories, we can pin it back to one of two things, an inaccurate heat press or an inaccurate operator, user error. Now, Jenna is going to give a class directly after this one that will show you the right way to apply the transfer and what to watch out for. But you need to make sure you have the right heat press to be able to do things the right way. And of course, we have some show specials that will help you with that here today. But quality is very important. Consistency, like quality, is equally important. You want consistency, knowing that the product you produce for customer A this year for that 5K that they did is going to be the same quality of product that they can expect this in the following year, uh, they want it to be consistent. They want their colors to look the same. They want their logos to look the same. So having a product that performs time after time is absolutely critical to your business and critical to your customers for you to trust a product. And then of course is profit. We've been talking all about profit and we're never gonna lose that part of the conversation because business is about making money. I find profit is the top goal of an entrepreneur and that's why we start and that's why we do this. And I'm excited to say that we are going to talk a lot about profit today. And if you stick with us later, my brother Zach Ellsworth has a session that's going to talk all about maximizing profit with heat transfers. I know you guys are going to love that class because I worked with him on a new book that we're releasing at this event that you'll get as a download if you attend that session. And that book is called The Lean Logo Formula. Now, this book, which we wrote, mm, it was probably about 10 months ago we started working on this, uh, was born out of you know the beginning of the pandemic. When we looked across the Stalls customer base, the customer universe that we have access to, uh, we noticed uh, something very important. We noticed that lean businesses, that businesses that were out of their home or quickly pivoted to be out of their home, did better than businesses that were burdened with a lot of overhead. So as we're going to talk a lot about product today, but I also want you to think about your business model because your offer that you're going to present to your potential clients here is going to be a blend of your business model as well as the products that you're using to uh, produce product. Because really what we're trying to carve out is a value proposition and for our customers. What makes you different versus everybody else that's trying to sell to them? Why are you the best for their needs? And this book really dives into building a model that's equipped to win customers. And that starts with being scalable in that model. Scalable, what does that mean? That means basically it's very easy to grow. When you can scale something, you can take it from zero to 100 very quickly and very easily. And so everything we're talking about today, it's a heat press for profit uh, event that we're presenting is based around the heat press and the heat press is as scalable as you get with technology. Basically add one machine, add one operator, and we can effectively double our capacity. And so the model we'll be talking about today is not only scalable, it's lean. That means I can get into it at a fairly low cost and doesn't require a lot of overhead. If you're like me, you're in your spare bedroom right now, or maybe in your kitchen watching this, right? We know that we have a heat press, we have a system that can fit on four feet of counter space. And there's a lot of power to that because you can start up a business, you can set up a business in the smallest of areas. And one of the joys I like is you can go to your business still in your slippers if you want, okay? So building a lean business, something that we can uh, grow with, um, something that if there is um, an issue or a downturn, we're not burdened with this thing called overhead, which is you know your electricity, uh, your lease payment, uh, really high sales and marketing expenses, basically all the expenses that go into everything other than making the actual product. You want to keep those low. You want to keep a lean business that can turn on a dime. Uh, being agile is a strategy and one that I would recommend you think about when you're starting. Start small, invest in the highest quality heat press you can, and then grow up and scale from there. As you might have imagined, based on reading about this event, to be able to do these things and say yes to any print job, we feel like we have the uh, key to the lock, and that key is ultra color. That is the answer to the product that you've been looking for in your business that's going to allow you to say yes, that's going to allow you to be able to accomplish these things. Okay. 
So I'm not going to give it all to you up front here, but I do want to give you a high level view of what you're going to learn today as we step through. Number one is you're going to learn how to heat apply. So we have two classes coming up that are going to teach you how to heat apply. Uh, what we found, and we've been selling Ultra Color for a little bit, and uh, we've just released two new versions of Ultra Color, and you'll you'll learn about what to use when. But what we found is that when Ultra Color has an issue, uh, typically it's because again the machine or the operator didn't follow the instructions. So we felt the best way to lead this off was to go into a in-depth how to heat apply class. And so if you selected to get the samples when you signed up here. Um, for this event, you have a handful of transfer samples, one that's already been applied to you, so you can touch and feel it, and some that are ready to apply. And if you didn't receive these, that's okay. We'll give you a way that you can get samples as we go throughout uh, today in our sessions. But um, heat applying those samples and heat applying them accurately is going to be critical. So Jenna Sackett, one of our experts and presenters here, is going to give a class on how to heat apply. Now, I have the Hotronics Auto Clam behind me. It's my favorite heat press. It's the one I've chosen to invest in for my side hustle. Fits in a small space, easy to use. But we have a, um, another press that's even less expensive to allow you to get into the business called the A to Z heat press. It's a new heat press that we've invented, that we've brought to life specifically for startup businesses. And Jenna will be showing you um, how to get accurate results even with a $700 heat press. Um, so as long as it's quality, as long as it delivers time, temperature, and pressure accurately, you can achieve those results. And she's going to walk you through not only how to press, but how to load your items, what accessories you can use, all of the details on getting an accurate result time after time. Now, Jennifer Johnson is going to present after Jenna, and her session is one of my favorites uh, for this morning if you're in the U.S. watching here today. Um, you're going to see that before lunchtime here uh, in the US market. And her class is all going to be about what ultra color product to use when. As I mentioned up front, we now have three formulas of ultra color. This product has a soft version, it has a stretch version, and it has a dye block version, all of which you receive samples in that pack if you requested it. Now, she's going to talk to you about which one to use when so you can trust them and rely on rely on them in your business to make the right choice. So how to heat apply is going to lead us off. The next thing is how to create art. So if we know how to apply it, we know how to choose the right product, well, then we need to figure out how to bring our customers art to life or our ideas to life in this product. And so uh, industry guru Dane Clement is going to be given this class that will show you how to create awesome artwork for your customers. And we're going to do it two ways. We're going to show you how to bring your customer's logo to life in ultra color uh, and to create a artwork and a design and a logo um, from scratch. And then Ryan Rafalki is going to give a class where he's gonna talk about a free tool that we've given you at your disposal called the Easy View Designer that allows you to build from layouts and templates. So I know the how to create artwork sessions, there's gonna be a ton of questions, you guys are gonna love them. Now, how to sell. Uh, I heard your feedback, we heard your feedback, I should say, from the last session and uh, you guys love the how-to knowledge with how to heat print stuff, and that's what we're going to spend the morning on. But you also want to know, how can I go and find my first customer? How can I sell this through? And if you're already selling successfully, what these afternoon sessions are going to give you is perhaps a way to identify a new market, to be able to grow perhaps in a more profitable market than what you're selling to today. If you have no customers, this is going to give you uh, challenge you to find a target market that you can begin to sell to directly after today, guys. I think you can be in a position once we conclude today where you can go and make your first sales call tomorrow and potentially win a customer. That's our goal. And so John Laux, who's our national sales manager here in the US market, is going to be talking all about how to sell to the sports market and giving you some tips and tricks and where you may want to focus your time and energy when you're selling into sports and schools as an extension of that. Jenna Sackett will present another class that's going to be focused on reaching a market that I love which is fitness and athleisure. This is a huge market. It's a growing market. Jenna will talk about some of the top opportunities there and really give you a roadmap for lining up your first client in athleisure, which is a growing uh, trend. I'd say it's a mainstay at this point more than a trend. Allison Zuccaro is going to give a class on selling to promo wear. Uh, promo wear is selling to small business or for promotions, and there's a ton of money spent, billions of dollars every year in promotional products. Are you taking advantage of it? Allison's going to show you how. 
And then I'm going to give a class this afternoon on selling e-commerce, whether that's printing your own line or printing for other businesses. I'm going to talk about the frenzy that we're seeing in the concept called print on demand and how ultra color can equip you to print on demand and how you can line up your first customer to set up an e-commerce store for. So we have a ton in mind today. We have a ton that we're expected to get through. None of the least is how to profit. And Zach is going to give the class uh, later this evening, walk you through the lean logo formula book and some of those principles and talk to you about how to generate the most revenue uh, with this product line. But before I go too much further, I want to give you a few different stories of customers that are already excelling with UltraColor. Uh, this is Jasmine. She runs a small business thread by Jasmine. And this is one way she brought UltraColor to life. So she had this job. She had a customer that came in and was talking about just being able to say yes. They asked for three different shirt colors, as you see in the picture. They wanted 12 of each. OK. And naturally, we see a couple different logo colors here. Uh, to be able to accommodate the different colors of garments that we wanted to decorate. So this is a real life job that, that was completed by Jasmine. And she was wincing at this because she knew that she may not be able to hit their price target or that she may have to limit the colors that they want to produce. But then she says she remembered Ultra Color and specifically Ultra Color Soft is the product that, that's the version that's used on these shirts. So she was able to decorate these effectively um, it, with a great feel and even be able to have extra transfers on this job for when they reorder in the fall. And we're gonna talk about how Jasmine was able to accomplish this and how you can as well in your business. Now, one of the when we talk about unleashing the color, you may say, do you mean full color? Do you mean I can do photos? And Henrique has found out that photo quality is a real opportunity with this product line. So I know it may be tough to see on the screen, but this is a really, high res, high quality photo that was produced by Henrique and his business team sports. He said he wasn't sure if ultra color was right for the order for a clothing line with incredible detailed full color art, but he tried it and says that the results hit it out of the park and the customer is thrilled. So photo quality, no problem. We saw the, the previous job was three colors, no problem. You're able to just say yes, regardless of the artwork. And here's one of my favorite stories. This is from uh, Eddie Thompson. He's in our Heat Press for Profit Facebook group that you should join if you're not a part of. And he runs a small business in Indiana, Thompson's T-shirts. Um, Eddie's been a really um, early adopter of the Ultra Color product line. And actually he's uh, featured in our book as well in the Lean Logo formula. And he says the benefits of Ultra Color is that he can print more images and earn more profit. The only downfall, he says, is that he tries to fit too many logos sometimes on one sheet. You see the sample of his gang sheet. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven logos on that gang sheet. But by doing that, he's able to save a ton of money. Um, but all he has to do is make sure he can use the scissors and cut those apart. If you've ever played Tetris as a kid, um, Tetris is going to come in handy when we talk about the concept of grouping designs and gang sheeting to be able to generate more profit. So if you're completely new to Ultra Color, you may be asking yourself the question, what is Ultra Color? And what I'd like you to do now is if you still have that piece of paper in front of you, I'm going to explain what Ultra Color is so you have an understanding. And the reason this is important for you is when you are talking to customers, it's going to be, uh, it helps you become a branding and a logo expert if you can talk in detail about the processes that are used to decorate the garment. If you just call this a transfer, I think your customer is sometimes going to turn their nose up and they're going to rule it out before you even get to show the product. Guys, we know this is a transfer that you can apply with your heat press, but I want you to think about how you position this to your customers a little differently as Ultra Color. So Ultra Color, I like to say, is a digital screen printed transfer. Okay, a digital screen printed transfer, or you can just call it digital screen printing. What that means is that we are combining two processes to manufacture this for you, to help you unleash the color of transfers. We are doing digital printing. That's how you're able to see all of the colors on a single layer and the samples you received or the image that I'm showing on the screen or you know, uh, an image like this. So you're able to get all of these colors printed. And so it doesn't matter if it's a photo like Henrique's example, it doesn't matter if it's three colors like Jasmine's example or Eddie's gang sheet that probably had 50 colors in it. You can do all of the colors together 
on one sheet if you're ganging or all the colors in your logo. And that doesn't impact the price for which you pay. And so you're able to just take that out of the equation. And that's what's so important of just being able to say yes. You don't have to ask the question, how many colors are in your logo? I don't care if it's one color. I don't care if it's 1 million colors. Because we are digitally printing this, you can just say yes to that job. Now, that's the digital part, OK? Now let's talk about the screen printing part. Guys, this is an actual screen printed transfer. We are using screen printing ink, and we are backing this digital print with screen printing ink through a uh, proprietary process that we have. Not only is it regular screen printing ink in the case of Ultra Color Soft, but it's water-based screen printing ink in the case of Ultra Color Stretch and Dye Block. I don't want you to get too hung up on the terms because Jennifer is going to go deep on that in the class, but I do want you to know that what you are producing and what you're selling, it is digital, which means no color limitations, and it is screen printing, which allows you to be able to sell through some other benefits. So it's a digital screen printed transfer. What does that mean to your customer? Well, that means it looks and it feels better than any other print method. Your logo can be reproduced as is, and you get that soft feel on the garment because we are using a screen printing ink. Now, in addition to that, this is a little bit more technical. Um, here at Stalls Transfer Express, we've, we've actually developed this carrier, this clear carrier that is on the back of the transfer with, uh, in a proprietary way, so it's exclusive to just this ultra color product that leaves this buttery soft feel on the face of your prints. So when you apply this to a garment and a customer feels it, this is going to feel like the professional grade that they're getting at retail. OK, so it has a buttery soft feel. And so I like to say not only is it digital and screen printing, but it has this buttery soft feel that's better than any other print method that I've seen. We worked for years developing this to, to be able to say just that. Now, in addition, you can order by the sheet or by the piece as we're learning about the product. This will become very important as you're starting up and ramping up with ultra color. Once you can get to that full sheet and group up multiple customer jobs, you'll find that you can really drive a lot of profit into the business. But if you're just starting out, you're probably not going to have nine jobs or six jobs to be able to put onto a sheet. So you can start selling and ordering this product right away and purchasing it by the image. So if you click on the uh, download section on the files that are linked here in this presentation, you can download an ultra color brochure. It has the price guide in there. And you'll be able to see all the pricing that's set up for the full sheet or by the piece. So you can do as little as of 20 of a left chest logo in this process. There is a minimum order quantity by the piece of 20 pieces. But if you set your minimum order for a customer at 20 pieces, you can print that job right away. And one tip I like to give you is to get to the 20 pieces. Remember that average order value? Maybe there's only seven people in the business, right? What if those seven people could buy a polo, a bag, and a hat? right? That gets me to my 20 logos of the same size logo to be able to order it. So the thing I want you to understand is you can order these digital screen printed transfers by the sheet or by the piece. Next is detail. Uh, detail is a problem. If you're like me and cut your teeth on heat transfer vinyl and uh, cutting and weeding product, there is a place for it and it's a great process. But as we move into print and cut, um, there's really some limitations on being able to do multicolor logos with the level of detail. You know, you hate when you have to have those white outlines around your transfers that you order, or you hate when you can't do the free floating text that goes into a left chest logo. Just having that free floating text, it's like this detail that always is bugging us as, as um, small businesses and apparel decorators is something I have to think about. But do I really want to have to place that burden onto my customer? And the answer is no. You just want to be able to say yes. And the cool thing here is before you even see the customer's logo, you can feel confident saying that. Yeah, I can do that many colors. And yes, I can reproduce that logo, even with that free floating text for a left chest graphic. So ultra color will allow you to print the finest details and free floating text, all things that go into being able to say yes to any job and really change the way you present the product in your business. Next, print any location, any color, any fabric. This isn't like sublimation where you can only do light color fabrics. Ultra color is fully opaque which means white stays white even when applied to a dark garment. So you can feel confident saying yes, regardless of the color of the customer's garment. And actually, after you go through Jennifer's session, you're going to understand that you can say yes even to sublimated garments and garments that bleed. So being able to accommodate any shirt color is really important, but also any fabric. 
cotton, polyester, tri-blends, lycra, spandex, even nylon. There is an ultra color formula that can apply to any fabric with that same finish and feel. So you're going to have that quality. You're going to have that consistency. You're going to be able to do a wide variety of items. And then any location. I really want you to understand this because, again, people purchase branded apparel to stand out. And so with a heat press, with the right attachments for the press and the right know-how, which we're going to teach you today, you can hit some really tough to do print locations to drive extra profit in every item and every order for every customer. Okay. So that means, you know, back shoulder prints, sleeve prints, um, prints that are down on the uh, pocket of a hoodie. Um, basically any location, no problem. As long as you can get that print area flat on the heat press, you can print it. And Jenna is going to show you how to do that today. So use that to your advantage. Locations are very difficult for screen printers and embroiders with having to hoop or to set that up to be able to screen print. With heat printing, these locations are your secret weapon. So make sure that comes through in your offer when you're selling digital screen printed transfers in ultra color, show some unique print locations. It's gonna make it tough for other people to compete with you. And then lastly, profitable and logical way to print. I think you got the point on profit by now, but Logical is what I like to say is easy to use, easy to learn. There's not a lot of mess. There's not a lot of cleanup. Really, with a heat press and a small space, you can start to decorate. So you can build a ton of business models around this product. But what I wanted you to get from this presentation is that this is a product that really you can think about changing the way you approach your business. It's not good enough to just say, I'm going to be a generalist anymore and I'm going to sell everything to everybody. However, what I do want to say is if you can think about ultra color and the fact that you can decorate pretty much anything for everybody, you can really carve up some very specific market offers for the types of customers you want to focus on. In sales and marketing, it's very important to have a target. It's very important to understand who you're selling to so you can present the products and the copy points. Uh, and the pricing and everything in a way that's relevant to them to be able to craft that unique value for that customer target. And so I still recommend you identify the customer types in the market, but you can have confidence that you can say yes with ultra color. And that's the exciting thing today in unleashing the colors of transfers. Okay. It all starts with the heat press. We're going to talk specifically about heat presses in the next session. Um, but I want to pause for a moment and uh, encourage any questions that may have come through. And I'm going to ask Shauna if she can come on in case there's any questions specifically that I can take. Hi, Josh, we do have some questions. So the first question is, could you just uh, reiterate about the Facebook group that stalls sponsors? Yes. So the name of the Facebook group is called Heat Press for Profit. Okay. So if you search Heat Press for Profit, you'll find that. And I love that group. We've had it going, I think, for the better part of five years. And there are a ton of entrepreneurs that own heat presses that are sharing examples and stories and, and all sorts of uh, things in there. So it's a great community uh, for you to join. The second question is, if the logo is large, will the t-shirt be hot? Will it uh, be not breathable? Yeah, yeah, totally get the question. Um, and so what I like to say is uh, when you and, and Dane and Ryan will talk about this in their art class, if you put a patch on a shirt, it's going to feel like a patch. OK, and so when you are creating full front designs, it's important to create some show through space, some space where that garment is going to show through your design and breathe. I mean, here's a full front design. You can make this larger. But there's lots of open space and breathability, as it says, unleash the color of transfers and it's in text. Um, if you put, you know, a big patch design on a lightweight t-shirt, it is going to feel heavy. There's no way to get around that. And that's with screen printing, direct garment printing, ultra color, anything. So be intelligent about how you bring a customer's to life, uh, design to life with logo size, um, with how you create that design for show through, and also the garment uh, that you're decorating. I mean, in Henrique's example, it was a big square print, but that was on a hoodie or a jacket. So if you want a full front print that's going to be built like that, you may want to consider um, a heavier weight garment. And you can look at the ounces on the garment to select a heavier weight garment. So that's a long way to say, yes, if you put a blob design on the front of a shirt, it's going to um, feel heavy. It's not breathable per se. But I will also say that um, this is the lightest weight feeling result that I've seen uh, out there. Uh, when compared to, to any other process um, other than sublimation, but you know sublimation only works on whites and has to be at least 65% polyester. 
Okay, great, thanks. Can you talk about how to wash and dry ultra color? We have a question, somebody's decal is peeling. Okay, so um, here's, uh, so, so one, we wanna recommend that uh, Jenna will cover it, time, temperature and pressure is accurately, accurate. Um, so if there's a peeling issue, I'm guessing it's probably uh, in the application step because of the heat press or the loading technique. So you're gonna love the next session. But having said that, you really just shouldn't have any issues. We've wash tested ultra color um, over 50 cycles. Uh, some of the uh, stretch versions and the stretch with dye block versions uh, that you'll hear from Jennifer, um, we've actually put through some industrial wash testing as well. So even on high heat uh, on the wash and the dry, but just generally with any transfer product, any product period, I usually recommend um, inside out, tumble dry, low heat, uh, if they want the length of their garment to last a lot longer, but we guarantee this to last 50 wash and dry cycles at least. Okay, great. Could you talk about what free floating text means? Yeah, absolutely. So free floating text is, let me see if I have a good example I can hold up to the camera. Yeah, this is good. So guys, this is a gang sheet that we built. And this one I think is for John's session later on sports. But if I can hold that up, you see that, whatever it says, um, it's tough to read backwards, but whatever it says underneath that uh, design school, it's distressed as well. So that's coming through there. Um, but that's free floating text. So it's designed that otherwise would be tough to weed. Every character is independent and I don't have to put this halo around it like you see on this Tigers baseball where there's a halo around the whole thing. So being able to do that sort of fine detail, even on these golf clubs um, in full color is something that's been traditionally tough to do. And let me see if I can find another example. Uh, really thin lines are also difficult. So I know this is an extremely small text, but it is uh, thin lines, that natural spa text there. Um, thin lines are tough to do. And the idea here is we can put all these different logos on one sheet and we can back them with the screen printing ink and the adhesive. So it's just ready to heat apply even on small detailed designs. Okay, thanks. Um, could you just address the three different types of ultra color briefly? Yes, perfect. So there are three ultra color formulas and Jennifer is gonna go deep, but let me give you the appetizer to it. So there is ultra color soft, okay? So if you are just starting and you wanna pick an ultra color product that's available at the best price point with the best turn time, meaning we ship it the quickest, um, go with ultra color soft, okay? Then we have ultra color stretch, which is basically where you move from the um, basic of ultra color that, that's an all purpose to a water-based version. Now you would want that water-based version, the name says it, where you, want, where you have something that's very thin and highly stretchable. And so that ultra color stretch is going to be a jump in price, but also a jump in quality when you're decorating those really thin garments or those uh, stretch garments, okay? Um, and then the last progression is called ultra color stretch with dye block. And basically you may have noticed in your sample pack, here it is, um, ultra color soft and ultra color stretch have like a white backing on them with their adhesive and their powder. Ultra color dye block, has this black or charcoal backing, depending on uh, what you call it there. But the dye block has this special backing on the back of the transfer, right? Here's the front, here's the back, that's going to allow it to block any dyes from bleeding. So when you're decorating polyester fabric, sometimes there are some dyes in there that wanna bleed through your print and turn like a white print pink if it's a red polyester garment, uh, nobody wants that. And so we have this dye block product that will actually block those dyes, whether it's sublimated dyes or a normal polyester from bleeding through. And so you can certainly order all three, the finish and the face will virtually match on all three. You do get a lighter feel with the water-based version on the stretch and the increased stretch and recovery. Um, but usually I would recommend, you know, if you're in the market where you're not doing a whole lot of performance wear and sublimated items, you can probably just use ultra color soft for everything. But if your business is sports or athleisure, where we're really into a lot of those uh, performance fabrics and nylons, and I would look at the stretch and the stretch with dye block is two choices, but three choices, that's it. All of them are sold by the piece. Uh, by the individual image, if you just want that logo, or by the gang sheet where we're grouping a bunch of logos together on that 11 and a half by 18 inch sheet. Excellent. Uh, and then there are two questions regarding colors. Uh, can we do neon colors and do the colors have to be CMYK? 
Okay, so um, this will be covered more in depth in the art process, but the short answer on neon colors is no. Um, so we are working with um, CMYK. And so, yeah, CMYK is going to be uh, the best uh, for the digital printing. And um, Dane will give you a lot of tips on color and color reproduction and how to upload your images to order your transfers to make sure the colors are what you expect and want them to be. Um, we have a heat press question. How do you know you have the correct pressure on the press? Okay. And uh, how do you know you have the correct pressure on the heat press? Well, there are some heat presses that will read out pressure. Um, and so on the Hotronics machine, like the one I have uh, behind my left shoulder here, it has a digital pressure readout. And so when you buy that press, it'll actually read out a digit when you lock it down from zero to nine. And so the, you know, the ultra color transfer will say set it for uh, 290 degrees for 12 to 15 seconds at a medium to firm pressure, which, and they'll call out like a seven. And so you'll be able to dial that in, lock it down on your garment until it reads a seven. And you'll know that's your pressure and you can run your entire job at that pressure. Now, if you're not fortunate enough to have a machine that measures pressure, it's gonna be largely by feel um, on your machine. Jenna will give you some tips on how to do that on our A to Z heat press that we have in a, a show special package today for you. Um, it's very easy to do, um, but really it's gonna be based on feel. And this is a medium to firm pressure product. So running a little heavier on pressure is, is usually better uh, on this product, but Guys, you don't need to lay on top of your heat press to lock it down. Accurate pressure is better. We don't need uh, crazy heavy pressure. Shouldn't be hard to lock the machine down. Um, another question is, re do we recommend switching from goof proof or elasti print to ultra color? Okay, that's a great question. So for those of you that may be in the US that are ordering from Transfer Express, which is probably a fair amount of you, you're familiar with goof proof and you're familiar with elasti prints. These are spot color screen printed transfers, okay? So if you have a design that is less than three colors for sure, goof proof and elasti prints um, are still going to be uh, great solutions and probably the preferred solutions uh, to decorate those items with. Um, however, what I will say is what you get with ultra color is the ability to drop that one or two color logo onto a gang sheet with other logos, okay? So that's the concept that you really need to wrap your head around when you build enough business flowing through ultra color. It's not that you can't produce that one or that two color graphic in ultra color. It's just, you need to be able to fill the sheet to make it um, as economical as possible. If you just put them side by side, goof proof for a one or two color is going to be less expensive and easier um, to order like that than ultra color. But if you're doing a bunch of logos, dropping a left chest single color logo onto a gang sheet isn't really gonna add much uh, cost. So my answer would be, yeah, I think you still need to um, understand and use goof proof uh, in Elasti print. There's gonna be a time and a place, but if you're just starting, I think there's a strong argument to just simplify your business and you can make plenty of profit with doing everything uh, in ultra color. We've seen businesses do that and be quite successful uh, to simplify and just be able to say yes. All right, we've got time for another, uh, looks like about one more, one or two more questions, Shauna. Okay, uh, so somebody is asking how Ultra Color compares to some of the other digital, digital products on the market uh, with regard to feel and durability. <clears throat> yeah, so I'd like to say um, there's a lot of different ways to create a digital transfer. Most of those ways utilize a desktop printer um, that does not have screen printing in the process, okay? So there is a huge difference in feel, quality, and performance than products produced uh, the way we're manufacturing them here with other products that use, uh, for the most part, desktop laser printers. And so uh, really, you'll see a durability difference for sure on the longevity of the garment and the quality of the print, but you'll also have a feel difference where ultra color feels softer than those other methods that are out there. So a lot of different ways to make a digital transfer from print cut to laser toner systems to desktop inkjet printers, um, et cetera, even you know, some newer technology coming on the market, but nothing that compares to ultra color and certainly nothing that gives you the ability to scale up and reduce your cost. When we look at solutions that don't include screen printing, there's a certain amount where once I hit you know, 20 pieces, 30 pieces, that cost is gonna be relatively fixed and there's not gonna be price breaks because ultra color is made with the screen printing process as volume goes up, price goes down.
which means you really have an opportunity to scale the business and increase the profit long term. So no comparison in my mind. Great. Um, and then last question, I guess, would ordering small quantities by the piece for small orders uh, keep me competitive in the market? Yeah, absolutely. So the reality is um, 20 pieces is the minimum. Um, the price is, is low enough, I think, on uh, some of the items that you can decorate with ultra color. The price is low enough on the transfer that I have customers that will order the 20 pieces even for 10 or 12 piece jobs. And they'll just store the extra transfers because they know that customer is going to be back um, for another item. And the fact that you can put these transfers on a wide variety, uh, you can absolutely be price competitive um, at that 20 piece. I will say ultra color is not a one-off technology. So this isn't a product that if you have a customer that wants one t-shirt that you're going to use, but if we're selling uh, in some of the markets that we're going to talk about today and building a, a business that's designed for high profitability and scalability, uh, we have a really professional grade product that's going to fuel our sales model here. All right, guys. Well, hey, um, I want to keep the questions coming in. I will look back at the chat in this session. I want to thank you so much for joining our event today. This was kind of to get your uh, appetite started because there is so much to learn about this product to be able to uh, put this into motion for your business. So I would encourage you to take a little break here, review your notes, highlight the ones you want to focus on, and then join us in Jenna's session where she's going to walk through how to heat apply ultra color accurately to a variety of different products.